All right, folks, guess what? We're not live this time. <laughs> um, for those of you that have been following, you understand why that's kind of funny or not funny at all, but whatever. Um, so back to the Behavior Beast stuff. Um, we're going to focus on a few of the more basic concepts today. All right, uh, We're down at a really cool location, downtown Spokane, one of the best parks in the, uh, in the state, um, if you ask my opinion, uh, at least in a city. Um, anyway, I'm getting, I digress. Uh, I've only got five minutes to get through the topic of behavior. And, I can talk so fast, I think I can do it in three. So I'll digress for about two minutes. Uh, anyway, no, uh, I'm, I'm lost. Behavior, what is it? Uh, it's simple, it's this. Right, whoa, almost fell. But if the wind was blowing me over, right? If I got blocked, knocked over by the wind, that's not behavior, right? We'll get into that. I'll link up another really cool video that Brad did a long time ago as an assignment um, that really clarifies what these things are. In fact, it's kind of funny, the history of that, that video, the history of the Behavior Beast series and the history of Sidecore really stems back to some behaviors that Brad, that Brad, that Brad engaged in years and years ago, right? Uh, we were working together. Uh, he, was, he was getting some credits in one of the classes I was taking, and he decided to record videos. Recording the videos were behaviors, right? So he ended up getting reinforced for those videos because they were damn good, right? They were excellent videos and they really expressed the points well. One of those points was about behavior, okay? So understanding what it is and what it isn't. There's lots of different kinds of behavior. There's operant behavior. That's the voluntary stuff, right? There's respondent behavior. That's what's going on with my eyes right now with the bright sun that's coming out. Um, as they go, whoop, they, the pupils shrink down and they do all that fun stuff. So. Um, so the respondent behavior is the reflexive stuff, right? So, so those are two general pieces of behavior. Uh, really what behavior is, it, it is anything that the organism does, right? So by, by standing here and talking to you, that's behavior. By breathing, I'm a little bit, have a little bit of a cold, that's behavior. Um, all sorts of things are behavior. In fact, one of the things we like to use is, is the dead person's test, and often called the dead man's test, which is that if a dead man can do it, it's not behavior. In other words, um, if I'm uh, not breathing, a dead man can do that. If I'm not sitting, a dead man can do that. If I'm not laying, a dead man can do that. If I'm not talking, a dead man can do that. Those aren't behaviors. So that word not really becomes a problem. So we need to focus on behavior, or sorry, in order to focus on behavior, we need to focus on action, what the person or the organism is doing. And remember, our definitions of behavior are not just for humans. They are for uh, non-human species as well. Uh, because that gives us a thoroughgoing science, a thoroughgoing understanding of behavior. Now, there's one more thing. One more really important piece of behavior is that it doesn't have to just be overt, right? It can be covert, right? Um, I'm sure there's people walking by right now, they're thinking of all sorts of things about what's going on. Those thoughts that they're having are covert behaviors. They're hidden, they're inside of them. That doesn't mean they're not valid, right? It means they are observable by one person only, the person having the thought, right? And those people and those thoughts are completely relevant for the study of behavior, right? Uh, so we'll, we're gonna, we'll do a voiceover in a minute with some actual behavior, or uh, with the definition, the, the commonly accepted definition of behavior. Of course, it's actual behavior, it's all behavior. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll do that voiceover to give you that specific detail of what behavior is. But I think the important thing you need to know is that it has an interaction with the environment, right? So behavior interacts with its environment, it has an effect on the world around us, whatever that may be. So me moving my hand has an effect on the air. <coughs> Excuse me. Me coughing has an effect on my hand and, the, and people's ears around me that can hear that in you. And so any behavior through space and time, so to speak, any, all these different layers um, that are criteria for behavior, we'll, we'll give you that definition in a sec. Uh, but really what it is, folks, is the actions that people engage in. A simple way to think of it is anything that ends in I-N-G. If you're thinking, feeling, acting, talking, walking, smoking, farting, oop, farting, um, sneezing, coughing, ah, uh, cameraing, filming, that's what the term is, um, all sorts of things. If it ends in an I-N-G, I tend to consider it behavior. And really, folks, really, please remember that difference between covert behavior and overt behavior is not one that is as big as you might think it is. It's just covert behavior has a, a, a an audience of one. That's it. So, um, hang tight. Uh, we're going to do some cool stuff, and you'll get you the definition, and I'll give you a little bit more stuff on that definition. So, uh, talk to you in a minute.